All right, I'm going to ask Mike. We are on. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm Mia Locke. I'm sitting here in a Model S Tesla and nerding out hardcore. This guy right here, do you see him? That's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you guys. How are you? Doing well. This poor kid has been sitting here going through all this crazy green uh, green room stuff, blue box. Look who's back in the back seat with me, too. Oh, Debbie Debbie. Debbie Davis in the his house. And we have Alyssa Berry. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. How are you, honey? I'm great. You, you guys look like you're having fun. You haven't even hit the road yet. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. Can you see this crazy control panel we got going on here? Oh, yeah. That thing is, that thing is so much fun. I can't even take it. And this made me really excited because I was sitting here in the car, and I was like, Ryan, hold my purse. Ryan, hold my purse. He goes, Mia, that's a purse holder. <laughs> so we got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Hey, how about we read some comments? What do you think, guys? You so are. Review, I know. I'm, I'm going to run this show like a bad mofo. Okay, we've got Laura Williams. Hi, Laura. Has someone made coffee to go with the cookies? Uh, Sarah Lamoff, Lamoff, Christopher Vogelman, David Henry Pipe. Hi, brother. He's over in England. Yay. I know you got to see the top of my head. Dustin also wants to know about the cookies. Roxanne, Leela. Oh, man, we got it all going on. So, yay, guys. Thanks for showing up. So, we are sitting here, again, like I said, in the Model S. This is not my first time the Tesla, just so you know. So, this is the Tesla Model S. We're actually in a P85 Plus currently. So this is yay. a fast car. Go <laughs> Joe's. Okay. Zero to sixty in three point nine seconds, <laughs> which is pretty quick. Yeah. Um, the safest car ever crash tested. It's a fun time. So. <laughs> Can I just tell you guys when we were in the we were sitting here at Deb's, What did you say? You wanted to go get your helmet. I've got two helmets. <laughs> I brought two helmets. One for you, one for me. You want one? Or... <laughs> but Ryan, um, Ryan said that it is the safest car to crash. So I'm feeling pretty good about that one too. So so. Um, Dennis, where are you at? Can you pipe in? I know we're, we've got the cookies part two going on over there. Yeah. We're live here in uh, hey. at Ruby Snap. And, uh, you know, it's kind of noisy in here. I mean, it's a bakery. It's got cement floors. Customers are coming and going. But I'm here with Tammy Stagel. Yep. Hi, Tammy. Tammy. Hello. And, uh, How are you, girl? Good. Hey, tell us about the Mia cookie, because I can put my fat pants on. Okay, Mia is a vanilla bean dough with a uh, a buttercream beet frosting. That, makes sense. that means we color it pink with beets. You can't taste beets, but it's all natural. And we bring our vanilla beans in from Bali. Fun. <laughs> I love that. It's got, oh, that camera work is so fun you got going on over there. You like that, Mia? <laughs> I like yeah, it. I like it a lot. I'm just really happy that I fixed the back of my head today. Look at this. You see this camera view? Sweet. Yeah. Greg calls yeah. that my kitchen when I don't get my head back of my head fixed. He says, fix your kitchen. <laughs> All right, guys. Any other comments we want to pull up from the audience before we get rolling? You see anything, Dennis? Um, Uh, you know, for some reason, when my computer just crashed, uh, I lost my streams. So, uh, okay. you start driving. I'm going to get my stream back. All right. And, uh... I'm going to be a good girl and put, put, put my, my glasses on so I can really see what, uh, what I'm doing. So, any other, any, uh, any other comments you got? Alyssa, have you, have you been in one of these before? I'm sorry. <laughs> have you been in one of these before? I had been in a Tesla once before, and it was just an amazing experience. Like you said, you've been in one. I'm excited for you to do it again. I feel like driving a Tesla is one of those experiences that will just never get old. And the first time I'm you do you. it, you're just totally floored by what it's really like. I mean, if you've ever been in an, in an electric car before, like maybe you've tried the Nissan Leaf or maybe you've tried the Volt, those are all excellent cars as well. But this takes it to such a different level and it is so much fun. It truly is a supercar that's green. I mean, you can't. And, and, yeah. You can't compare. And it's that sexy. Thing. This thing it's is sexy. so sexy. I can't even take it. I can't even take it. Now listen, I don't even know what to do. So <laughs> Ryan, just get me started. Like, show us the console and stuff. Because I'm looking for the gear shift. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking for all that business. So, looking at the Model S, 
you know, in the current state that it's in, it's pretty much an accessory mode. So, you know, when you turn your ignition, you clean your ignition, not all the way. Yeah. That's pretty much the mode it's on currently. Okay. Um, so really all you have to do to start is just put your foot on the brake. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, wow. You guys should see this. Like all this little controls just showed up right here on the screen. <laughs> the car just turned on. <laughs> and, and Debbie actually just put her seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah. She got scared. Okay. So the car has just turned on. And mm. make sure your mirrors and everything are all set before we go. Yep. All right. So, and to put it into drive, you're just going to drop this all the way down. Okay. Oh, okay. oh it's almost like, um, wow, that is cool. It's, it's, it's like the, the, when you do a turning signal, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And uh, that's it. <laughs> There's a off. bunch of babies and dogs in front of me, so We're I might. Oh, and then once I let my foot off the gas, it just, it just goes. Oh. No gas. Exactly. See what I said? Make a list. Okay. No gas, because it's just going, oh, this thing is smooth like butter. <laughs> Watch this. You guys ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then when you let your foot off, it, um, yeah, I just scared this woman and her kids. Did you see that? Sorry. So that sensation that you feel when you let your foot off the accelerator, that's called regenerative braking. Battery pack, while also extending your brake legs as well. Cray, cray. And then you're going to make a lift here. Oh, my God, you guys. Who's in the audience has been in the Tesla? I want to hear about it. I want to hear your experience and what you think. Look at me. I've got my gum chewing mode. I'm so excited. And then, I'm right and then Dennis, it looks like Alyssa might be blue box, but I can't tell. So um, let's make sure it's on. I wish you guys could see also the mountains are gore just today. It is the most amazing day here in Denver. So we're getting out. We're out at Park Meadows Mall, right? And we're going to stay in this land. We're going to merge on the I-25 path. Okay, so tell me more about what I'm, what my, what I'm experiencing right now. So yeah, no gas, right? So no no gear shift. No gear shift. We're going to stay in this land. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> take it. This thing is so awesome. All right. So, yeah. You're going to let these cars get a little bit ahead of you. Okay, I'm going to So once you straighten out, floor it. Okay. Floor it. Hey, let's rotate that other camera 90 degrees so we can get a better view from the passenger seat there. We lost you already. Woo! How are we doing? Woohoo! All I right, so now on I-25. Can you see me? I can see you now. Okay, great. And then, Dennis, make sure we got blue box. And then we are now on I-25. And then, Alyssa, I'm not kidding you. This is what you're talking about. It is so smooth. I cannot really? believe how well this thing, this has giddy up and pick up. So tell me how, how fast I can really go if I was able to really hit the gas. Uh, if you... So our cars are governed at about 130 miles per hour top speed, oh, but that's, so cool. that's just a governor to, you know. What does that mean? It's just to make sure that your your motor and your your battery back, you know, make sure don't they don't degrade faster than they need to. I got you. Now what is so I've got the it's the blue one here on the left. Is that that's going to be how fast I just so you know. I'm at 65 right now. Mm -hmm. And then what's on the right? So the right, that's your kilowatt hours that you're using. So that's the power that you're using. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, oh, the green, green is showing you. Can you see this, you guys? On the, on, the, on the console? Hello? Let's see. Well, it's a little blown out what, what I'm looking at. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hey, but this Mia. is the shiz shit <laughs> for sure. Dennis, can you see it okay? Yes. Um, one Go thing, ahead. I just want to ask if we can rotate the uh, the camera that is in the passenger seat 90 degrees so we can see more of that image. Oh, oh, gotcha. This way? Yeah. 
There we go. That's much better. Right Thank on. you. Good, good call. Now, this is so fun. Like, oh, I love this. Oh my God! Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That is awesome. am, it really is. Like, can you guys see how quickly we move this now? Right, there we go. Me, tell me some other cool stuff. So, I mean, really, it, it drives like a normal car, as you can feel, but it's just a lot better. It's so smooth. It's just so butter. I, I, I need to think of some new words today because I can't. I cannot get over it. Just how. Performance, it feels, and, and okay. So tell me about how much the car. Let me ask you about that. The car that we're. What? What's your question? Oh, I don't. What'd, what'd you guys say? Whoops, I didn't know if there was a delay there. Sorry. I was gonna say, Mia, you look like you're having so much fun. I wanted to ask you, what is the feeling that you have when you're driving? You know what? I'm gonna make it into some kind of connotation and say it makes my pants tight. <laughs> you make your it, really, it, it makes my pants tight. <laughs> I just love it. It's just like it's like a a car hard on you guys. Sorry, <laughs> I can't think of anything else to say. I'm sure I'm gonna lose every sponsor who's ever considered me for that comment. <laughs> but it is. It's got like such a um a, a, a guy. I feel like making that Tim Allen noise. That uh, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Seriously. Yeah. It, it really does. It does. Right, so, okay, right. So tell, turn it back to you. What, how much How much does this bad boy cost? So this car that we're currently driving in uh -huh. is about $125,000. It's our performance, it's our performance plus, so it's our top of the line model. With what? So what are, what are those features? So, for example, this car comes equipped with an all-glass panoramic roof. Uh, yeah. Um, it has our 21-inch turbine wheel, which are cheap. Um, just a whole bunch of other options. All the cars are made to order, so all of the same options are available on any single car that you get. Gotcha. So. If what kind of things can we choose? You can choose the color on the interior. You can choose the color. You can choose your leather color. You can choose your decor. Mm -hmm. You can choose if you want a tech package or a sound package. What is a tech package? Tech package, so you'll get like upgraded maps and free with free updates for seven years. Wow. That's Look how cool this is. Turn it on that to you guys. This really is cool. I mean, I was thinking that, you know, do people worry that they're going to get distracted because there's so much cool stuff going on here? No, people normally don't worry about it just because that this screen has the same footprint as a whole bunch of maps and buttons. Right. So, I mean, if you buy a new device today, it's not going to come with maps and buttons in 2014. Gotcha. Yep. What's this? Oh, my God. I tonight. One mile an hour, and I'm going to say that. Unlike your traditional. Yeah. 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 Get up to a certain hour. Again, for your torque to do that in touch. Mia. I feel like I feel like I'm hitting the brake. Dennis, yes, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. So we need you to slow down a bit because you're 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 actually driving faster than the internet right now. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're having a tough time keeping connected to you at those speeds. So if, if you can slow down, you are out driving AT and T currently. <laughs> Yeah. You remember that one time? Do you guys remember yeah. that one time I broke the internet? So what? <laughs> yes. I do. I remember that day all too well, Mia. It was because I mentioned uh, I actually Star had an HOA go live after. That's right. I forgot about that. All right, so what's your question? We are going to slow down. We're going to we're going to head back, and I think Dennis, I think we, what we might do instead of going into the showroom, or maybe I'll have Deb go into the showroom, but um, we're going to sit in the car until Deb gets set up in the showroom. So when we go back, we'll, we'll go back to the parking lot here in a little bit. Okay. Okay, but while we just find any questions so from the audience, so one of the things. Well, I personally have a, a comment more than a question. 
that vehicle has just about the lowest sound. Pardon? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. So I just want to talk about the low center of gravity that that car has, because it's about the lowest center of gravity of any car out there, which results in amazing cornering. I think you're hearing from... Mm -hmm. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, I know. I, I'm Wee. hearing uh, feedback from somebody like like that, that uh, YouTube is on or something like that. So, yeah, so can you go ahead, Ryan? Yeah, so with the slow center of gravity, I mean, we just went over a bend and pretty much you can't, there's no, no battery pack is underneath the whole car weight with your low center of gravity, so, you know, it's just going to handle very exceptionally well. That also helps with, like, smell and everything like that because your weight's centered and it's evenly distributed, so that way you're not going to fish tell or slide out and snow. This car does well in every single condition. It's the most popular car in Norway, so if you ever have any reservations about snow driving, I would just throw them out the window. So Dennis, should we go, um, we're going to go back um, and probably just drive around a little more slowly, um, kind of in the parking lot like I was learning to drive. Do you think that'll work better? That should work a little bit better, hopefully. Nice. Okay, well we've got a few more minutes. So, so you want to bring up some comments from the audience? Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So we've got, um, let's see. Uh, so James Sorino says, need to win the lottery to get a Tesla. Um, uh, we've got a lot of comments about you being faster than the internet. Um, <laughs> I don't read as fast as you do, Mia. Oh, I like this one from what? Chris Vogelman. Chris says, instead of a cup holder, does the Tesla come... Instead of a cup holder, does the Tesla come with a cookie holder? <laughs> I think that's, you know, vital. Wouldn't you say, Tammy? It's absolutely vital. Every car must have a cookie holder. It does need a cookie holder and a um, little vacuum cleaner to clean up all the crap. Man, they're just going nuts. <laughs> that would run on a separate battery, probably. Like an extra frosting dispenser. Oh, well, yes, Tammy. <laughs> Say that one again, Tammy. I like that. An extra frosting dispenser. Yes, we definitely need an extra frosting dispenser in there. <laughs> like directly into my mouth. <laughs> what else you got, Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got, um, wow, $125,000. Um, Made to order, we've got uh, Mia Voss feels the need to speed. Mike Alton says only 130? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's governor. Um, <laughs> it could go I faster. Um, yeah, actually, we've got uh, Dustin Stout. Where did Dustin go? I said it below, Mia Voss, and I know you're not able to read this, but my test drive this week in a Model S changed my life. Seriously, I mean, it's an experience unlike anything you've ever felt before, and, and you know, especially it's that it really doesn't true. shift. It's like your back tense is waiting for that shift, and it just doesn't happen. Yeah, I told you that yesterday, Mia, and you looked at me like I was insane, but it's true, isn't it? That again. Uh, Kim Boltman says, how are you doing in the back seat, Deb Davis? Uh, Chris Vogelman uh, says, never been in a Tesla Mia Voss, but loved trading um, the stock. And I lost that comment. Thank you very much. Um, James Tino says, my bo boss owns a Model S. There's another person that parks his Model S next to my boss, 
in the lot would love to drive or at least ride in one. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, let's see. Dustin Stout asks, are you guys tethering from the car's internet connection? I can actually answer that one. No, we're actually, Dustin, we're using an AT&T uh, MiFi device that Nia picked up this week. Um, let's see. Sarah Harris says, uh, so awesome. The audio is a little fuzzy, but the car is incredible. Mia Boss. Um, uh, see. Mia, I'm, I'm, you know, it is not easy to manage your hey. conversation. I'm just saying, Mia. Wow, we lost you there for a bit. So, Mia, I've been reading comments. I'm, I'm telling you, it is so hard to stay up with your comments. This is ridiculous. I do not want to be you any longer. <laughs> Wait, who said that? I just said, said that? that. Sitting here managing this account, <laughs> I did. It's tough being you, Mia. I don't want to fill your shoes anymore. I know, and it, these comments are incredible. <laughs> Do I have, like, big clown shoes to fill? <laughs> yeah. How, how we doing, guys? Ooh. Hey, how quiet is it in there? You guys um, probably can't hear probably hear everything because it's so quiet, right? Yeah, Alyssa, Alyssa oh. she can hear everything except us. Oh, That's really? She's not hearing. Yeah, she keeps losing our internet connection here. So. Oh, bummer. Yeah. So, That's Alyssa, fine, tell us a little guys. bit about you. You're like a, a, a girl who loves pop. I'm sorry. I I could I sort of heard what you said, Dennis. I'm sorry. You were asking um, what I do. Yeah. So there's a you have a passion for cars that's unparalleled by most people, is my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of like I I don't know. I I my dad came home with a Porsche 944 when I was like eight years old, and it completely changed my life. I but I thought that's just a Volkswagen. Well, it was awesome. I mean, like cars back it's just then. Just a cool-looking like, Volkswagen up. Beetle. What? It's just a cool-looking Volkswagen Beetle. That's what you say. <laughs> oh, those are fighting words. <laughs> it's true. I have never driven a 944. Oh, I, I was eight years old, though. I mean, like I was very impressionable. I still think Porsches are amazing, but he came home with this thing, and it completely changed my life. And I've been a car fan ever since. I love getting on the track. I love reviewing cars and talking about them. It's just my whole world. Seriously. Well, that's awesome. I, I love cars, too, and, and for very similar reasons. Mine started a little bit different, though. Uh, mine was influenced about eight also, but by a, uh, by a big American beast. My dad came home with a 1975 old Delta 88 Royale with a 455. It was a convertible. And oh my God. man, that car would go. Eight people in that car comfortably. Oh, only six seat belts, but and you could blow Corvettes. No, no seat belts. Belt. Yeah, well, that's true. There were no shoulder belts in it, but boy, could that car go. And yeah, so I'm a bit of a Those car. Those things are like like rolling couches. Oh, yeah. That's exactly right. One big, huge... It's like two rolling couches, one in front of the other one, right? There's a front couch and a back couch. That's right. Awesome. Hey, oh. Alyssa, tell us more about cars from a woman's perspective. I just launched it literally last night. I'm still kind of tweaking it a little bit this weekend. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you fine. Yes, I can. Okay. I'm so excited for um, you. Yeah, but it's a brand new site. Thank you. I've been writing about cars for a little, well, 10 years, a little while now, but I finally launched this community. It's, it's written by women for women. I feel like as a female that really has an appreciation for cars that we don't really have a proper community for us to speak our mind in our own language. I mean, I, 
Mia knows this about me. Like I, I just got tired of Googling women in cars and finding like chicks in bikinis. It's like for people like me that really appreciate cars and want to have a more mature conversation about it, we're not going to appreciate that kind of thing. So I didn't find the community that I was searching for, so I created one. And it's called Cars from a Woman's Perspective. I'm very excited about it. I am inviting any woman that has an opinion about vehicles to be a part of the community. And um, I'm, that's basically it. I'm not looking back. So, Alyssa, what kind of do you have a preference with type of vehicle? Can it be any vehicle? Oh, oh that people will write about? Sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the excitement. When yeah. there's excitement for vehicles. I mean, I personally have a passion for performance cars and for racing, but the community is for women that just have an opinion about cars. So if you love a certain kind of vehicle or if you only want green or whatever your opinion is about a certain feature on a car, it's, it's not just about what I like. I want it to be about what women in general are willing to share. Does that make sense? In fact, yeah. one of the interesting things is Tammy is a massive car buyer. Yeah. Massive. Like, Tell us some of your collection. Well, I like older cars. So I have a 1950 Metro van. I have a 1956 Ford truck. I have a 49 Buick and a 48 Plymouth traveling sell through car. So my husband uh, builds cars, and therefore I jumped on the bandwagon. It's fun. It's really fun. It's fun. It's awesome. So, yeah, there's there's cars, very different cars from a woman woman's perspective. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're willing to share your opinion, I want the voice to be heard, and this is a safe place for that. So, you know, you're the perfect audience. You know, it's like that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like women have an opinion about vehicles, and it's not being heard, and I'm I'm like all about changing that. Yeah. So. Absolutely. What kind of discussion don't work well? Or Tell me some, some kind of some of the discussions you guys have. On my site? Mia, you broke up just a little bit. Can you ask your question again? I think she was trying I think she was saying what kind of discussions do we have if I if I caught it right? Um, Sorry. Mia, try your question again. Oh. You're not clear. Okay. She's in Tesla land having fun. She's yeah. on the planet right now. <laughs> Mia's Tesla land. Yeah. Tesla. Oh, now she's gone altogether. Oh, dang it. She'll come back. It's funny because we can see her, but all yeah. the other computers are like muted. So we can actually watch her right now as she's trying to get the phone that is the one that's causing audio back connected. <laughs> Here's Deb Davis's view. They have no idea we're talking about them right now. Oh, cool! We can see out the back of the car through the video. I'm sorry. I'm just HOA geeking out right now. Well, you know what? I really appreciate you guys having me be a part of your awesome test drive. Um, I was there in spirit with her in the car, <laughs> but I do. I know. I do need to go, and I apologize, but I really do appreciate your time and allowing me to come along with you for this awesome ride in this amazing supercar. Cool. Alyssa, I'm going to have you back on again, sweetie. I want to hear more about what you're doing. I think there's a big audience for you here on Google+. Plus. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I want, I want to get you on a few things too, Alyssa, so mm -hmm. we'll be in touch. Okay, we'll sounds great. Woo! Okay. Bye, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Here. Mia, you just uh, did that zero to sixty in three point nine seconds again, didn't you? Did you see it? I can't even say. Poor Deb is back there. Her toes are curling, and not in a good way. Well, maybe it's in a good way. We'll see. We're having so much fun. Can we? Should we just park out, like out, out here? We can kind of yeah. You want to go to? We just go to the garage. We're gonna go to the garage, guys. That way, there's more time. All right, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah that would be good. The lighting is a little better in there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so tell us about some more comments, Dennis. Okay, so uh, 
Chris Vogelman, uh, Mia's Tesla Land, drooling and tooling around Denver. Um, Roxanne Davenport, my grandparents gave me a 1979 Laguna when I was 16. My dad sold it because it was way too fast. I was mad. The car was beautiful. Oh, man. I would have kept it. It would be worth anything now. A 79 Laguna? Yeah. Depends on the motor. Um, I mean, obviously, it's worth something ah. regardless. But um, uh, Let's see. Uh, Adam plugged cars from a women's pr perspective. Go circle those guys. You should hook up with Jill. Her girl in uh, the truck are fantastic. Um, let's see. Hey, Adam. Uh, oh, my God. I can't take this car, Dennis. I don't want to get out. Let's see. Stan Bush. I, I know, right? Seriously. I mean, I just... Ridiculous. It's so nice. Yeah, I, I, I asked the price of the car because I'm putting that on my wish list and or my, my manifest list. And so they start at 70000 so they don't have to be this expensive. Actually, if you want it to be this expensive, it's all up to you. We like to give the customer the choice. You catch that, Dennis? Did we lose you? Yeah, and at 70000 you still have quite a machine. What's the zero to 60? What's the zero to sixty on a seventy thousand um, dollar car? So the zero to sixty on our you know standard model car, which is our sixty kilowatt hour battery pack, it's still around five point four seconds, so it's still insanely quick for the type of car that it is. <laughs> I keep doing it. Can you see? I keep doing it, Dennis. I mean, there's like five sedans in the world. That can do that kind of thing. Exactly. In my no, it's hard to left. see if I'm on your if I'm shooting over your shoulder, let's have you do it. I'm gonna shoot over your shoulder and, and do it again. Hold please. And make sure there's no small children. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the tires squeal. The tires squeal. So quick, I dropped the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this here. guy over here. Where was that? Just heart break by that cell Oh, okay. Here we go. We're we're pulling that to the bumper, baby. Right? Wow. Oh my gosh. And then to put it in park, you just push that in. So I want. Oh, here's the uh, comment I want. So, Mia, Sarah yeah. Lamont says, there were a few incidents some years back involving blind people and the concern that electric cars were so quiet. It was difficult for them to hear the car approaching like the regular cars. This has caused quite a few accidents. Is anyone familiar with this? I, I do know that Fisker, before they went bankrupt, um, had a speaker literally in the front and rear of the car for exactly that reason. I don't know about that for the Tesla, though. Is there... Any sound effect that the car makes? There is no sound on the Model S unless you're playing your music pretty loud. Although, if you think about it, when you're in the parking lot, a gas-powered car will come up behind you going less than 10 miles an hour, and you still can't hear that. When you're in the parking lot, a gas-powered car will come up behind you going less than 10 miles an hour, and you still can't hear that. Yes, that is true. That is absolutely true. So there's um, There's really no issue. What was interesting that, about the weird noise the Fisker made was that it was like this Star Trek y. It's just a so, concern that people have, but doesn't really exist. Kind of a wives' tale concern. That, that's correct. That's correct. Hold on, we're going to have to. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, please. Hold on. Is that better, Dennis? I think you still got Sarah's comment up there too, right? That's the I I just barely oh. took it down. Just oh no, it is still up oh, there. That's You're right. Okay. Yes, okay. Look at me bossing you around even from the car. You like that? <laughs> All right. 
Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the laptop up and see if I can see some other. You're always bossing me around. I didn't have it blue box. So I know. Matter. Here's one from Chris Vogelman. I do need to do some donuts. I need to eat donuts and do a donut. How did I do those? Let's, let's ask so Ryan how he got it. from Chris Vogelman. Yep. I see it. Exactly. Oh. And Lynn told me I have to have both hands on the wheel. I forgot my Mickey Mouse glove is in the is in the um, okay. dealership. I'm really bummed about that too. Uh, quite a few accidents. Uh, Cheryl says Blue Box is going crazy. Um, hi Shannon Hernandez. I am a bra in the car. Bra bra. He calls me bra. Oh Lynn, uh, do you see Lynn Abate's comment? She says, I was at Foreign Con yesterday, and there was blah, a guy blah. who owns a, a – yeah, blah, blah. Lynn yes. says she was at, at uh, Foreign Con, and there was a guy uh, – there was a forum for Tesla owners. Quite a ride. Now the hubs is going to try to justify getting one for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, believe, I believe Corey is right on that one for sure. It is kind of jumping around, isn't it? That's not much of justification. What? I, uh, oh yeah. These, no, it's. Uh, uh, I think you might. I think you might need to uh, blue box yeah, somebody it's, it's, if you don't. It's crazy, man. People are just bouncing around. Why don't you go ahead and blue box one of us, though, Dennis? Because unfortunately, that's kind of what it does a little bit uh, sometimes. I'm blue boxing. Watch me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go. Uh, we're going to go back to the garage here too. So. Uh, um. Why don't you know what? What? Mia. Yes? Mia. Yes. Mia. Yes. For some reason, I don't have blue box. I have been trying to control it, but I'm only white. It, well, you so know what? It's white now, you've honey. You've signed in it twice white. as you, and that means you have to blue box. Um, I'm not signed in, honey, but I... So okay. I... Apparently, oh, have I have no box? control over the blue box. Hold on. How about that? Hold on. You apparently have blue box, not me. Because we're double signed in as you. Is it staying still now? Dennis? No, thank you. Dennis? No, I can't tell. Okay. I well, can't tell. A... Only the audience can tell that. I'm not. Well, audience, let's hear from you guys. Sorry about that. We have been jumping around, and it should just stay on me right now. So, uh, let's let's. Uh, what, what's the audience saying? Let's get some more comments from them because they're being so patient. You guys, thank you for letting me try this out today, and for those of you who stuck through it because it's definitely um, something I wanted to do. So, thanks for humoring me. Right? What you got comments wise, Dennis? Um, let's see. Uh, Adam Music says, Mia Voss, take a page from Alan. Uh, can you not hear me? I can hear you. Okay. You're just really delayed when you're hearing me, Mia. I've usually spoken like three minutes before you hear me. Okay. <laughs> so Adam Music says, Mia Voss, take a page from Alan uh, Cluckwick. Okay. I can hear you. I'm not sure whether to talk or not, Mia, because you never Keep hear going, anything Dennis. until I'm finally like, speaking. <laughs> if I'm going to keep going, I need you not to keep going, because when you say something, it's really delayed from what I'm saying, so I have no... Yeah. Hey, Adam Music, again, says, take a page from Alan Fuckwick and do a Polish victory lap once backwards around the track. Um, Stan Bush, uh, stay the course. You guys are trailblazing right now. 
The problems will pass. But by the way, the boss is okay by me to look at you. You can leave it on uh, her if you want. I won't complain. Yeah, no kidding, right? Um, yeah, James says, we can hear you. I know. The problem is that Mia's not hearing me until quite a bit later. Um, we le love Mia Voss and the great idea. That crap crazy. Thanks, Don. Um, where'd the tiara go in the car? Well, Wayne, tiaras don't actually work off of a cell phone, and he's on a, she's on a cell phone. So she'd need to be on her computer to do the tiara. Um, Chris Vogelman, great stuff, Mia Voss. Blue box jump and drive, highly entertaining. Uh, Mia, please look at the road, don't blue box. Um, so, uh, Dustin Selt says it's been on the passenger the whole time. Several comments say saying so. Yeah. That would probably be because any time that the car, they're talking in the car, Dustin, they are, uh, they only have one microphone, so whichever one is running the microphone. Um, Lynn Abate Johnson says, you look so freaking great behind the wheel of a, that car, Mia Voss. Oh my gosh, just saying. So, <laughs> Mia. Yes. Do we have some? We got someone in the showroom. Let's have you guys swap over really quick to the showroom. Maybe Debbie and I can interview um, Tammy a bit while you move over there. That'll get rid of some technical difficulties. I, I'm in the showroom right now. Can you hear me? We can. We can. Go ahead. Well, I'm just um, walking around here. The showroom is actually inside of a mall, and. Um, it's pretty classy joint, so I'm just bringing you through here to show you they've got a car here inside the mall, and this is where the engine normally would go, I think. It looks like a trunk to me. That's the front of the car. And then we've got a couple of, uh, looks like, prospective buyers here in the showroom. And, um... And the sales folks here are all busy with customers. And I think we need to get customers. Deb, can you switch around and hold it so we can see this frame right here? That, sure. what that is showing is absolutely amazing. That's the structure upon which the Tesla is built, and that's the battery pack in the bottom of it. That's why its center of gravity is so low, and that's why it cornered so incredibly well because, I mean, everything, all its weight is down below the center of the tires. It's just unbelievable. So, Dennis, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at, but if, you, if you're if you looking at my camera... Yeah, that's just the frame of the vehicle and the batteries underneath the vehicle. Very um, cool. That's what you're looking at there. It's just, it's just, it's an absolute technology marvel. This vehicle is completely different from anything else that's out there, and a heck of a lot of fun to drive. Tammy, then, <laughs> oh, go ahead. I was going to say, if if anyone's interested, it appears that business leasing is now available. That's pretty okay. cool. <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. Okay. Tammy, let's talk about... It's hard to look there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here, we'll That's move the okay. mic over here so it feels more normal. Here. Okay. All right. How long have you been doing extremely exotic cookies? Uh, six years to the public and about 20 years inside my head. <laughs> <laughs> and during those 20 years, you were doing what? I was an architectural designer, and I did commercial office buildings, hospitals, clinics, universities, colleges. And um, so it's very creative, very methodical, which is what being a business owner is of a bakery, is being very creative and very methodical. Yeah, absolutely. So 
Absolutely. And the inspiration for everything that is Ruby Snap comes from what? Well, uh, comes from a lot of different angles. We kind of celebrate the 1940s, where we're trying to do celebrate yesteryear when all things were good, and we didn't use preservatives and shortenings and yucky stuff. So we make all our cookies from fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and nothing artificial. No, no preservatives, no shortenings, no genetically modified ingredients, and. Um, it's just really fun. We try to keep the wow factor. We want it to be uniquely different. And when you try it, we want you to go, wow, this is awesome. Um, so that's where that comes from. So do you have chocolate chip cookies? We have classic cookies. We have chocolate chip. We have uh, But you don't call them. You can't come in here and order a chocolate chip cookie. I mean, you could, but that's not what you call them. What do you call a well, chocolate chip cookie? We call our cookies by girls' names because it's really hard to say. I would like the coconut carrot curry with the coconut cream mascarpone and a haystack of toasted coconut on it. How about you just give me the Billy Ann? So we have a Mio cookie, which is a, a vanilla bean cookie made with uh, beans from Bali, and it has a buttercream beet made with fresh beets. Um, but it's easier to just say, give me a Mio cookie. Have a good day. Thank you. Yes. So it's fashioned after the 1940s, uh, the nose art on the airplanes, where the men were longing for their ladies, so they would keep a picture of their ladies. So every cookie has its own associated pinup, and we do celebrate the World War II 1940s era. A lot of people mistake us for the 50s, but we'll take it. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Um and. I've been a massive fan from day one. Thank you. Um, but it was, I, I never realized until right now, the tie with the 40s. And what you just said yeah. is really interesting because really, the 40s is the last American generation before everything started becoming fake. Like really, in the 50s, that's when processed foods started arriving and frozen foods started coming out and yeah, when when my my parents' generation started getting TV dinners and those ugly little fish sticks, and I never liked vegetables growing up because to me vegetables was um, out of a can and they were mushy and and I started discovering fresh on my own and I was like, wow, food is really good, you know. So and I I used to take a lot of cookies to clients and I would call them sweet zero. They'd be sweet but they didn't have any flavor. And so I just start, started creating my own concoctions and disguising them as uh, commercially um, prepared. I'm going to switch you to this other okay. camera. That'll make it easier for you because okay. I'm kind of over here. Okay. And you keep wanting to talk to me. I know. That's OK. I like you. Yeah, well, I like you too. <laughs> so um, what's your favorite cookie in here? Uh, I. For about four years, I had Penelope. It's a peanut butter truffle dipped in chocolate every day of my life. Now, I I always love the special of the month, so this morning for breakfast I had Lulu. It's a pineapple sweet corn with a crushed pineapple mascarpone on top. But um, every day my go-to is a dark molasses ginger that I really love. I like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's that spicy chocolate one. Frida, yeah. That thing's amazing. Yeah, it's a mole. We make our own truffles, so we grill chili de arbol chilies in olive oil, and then we steep them in cream and then add dark chocolate and spices and create our own truffles that go inside that cream. That's amazing. So, Mia. Dennis? Hey, you there, Mia? I'm here. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Yay! Did I miss all the fun talk? Hello? We've just been chatting like old friends. Uh, <laughs> Good. Which we are old friends. But uh, yeah, just so you know, nobody's got control of Blue Box right now. So you start okay. making noise, and it's going to switch to you, and then back to me, and then to you like that. So we'll just have fun. Um, well, maybe, you know what, how are we doing on time? Because we're probably getting close to ending anyway. So We've got um, about eight minutes. So okay, I good. I do want to something up. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Shoot. OK, I had something really cool for uh, the screen, and we lost it. But you have an offer anyway. We do have an offer. 
If you go to our online store, which is shop.rubysnap.com, you can enter Mia Voss, all lowercase, M-I-A-V-O-S-S, to get 10% off of any order. And you ship? We ship. Continental <laughs> U.S., Hawaii. Not Canada. Uh, we do ship to Canada. Oh, but that's the only foreign country. We just don't ship international. We have gone overseas to China and Belgium, but these are people who hand carry them over. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yay. Kind of like small trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your place looks so beautiful, Tammy. Thank you. Oh, it's just love amazing. It. Swing the camera around. we got to be talking. I love so it. I know everybody couldn't figure out why we tried. Uh, oh, I won't. Okay. Yeah, keep going. No, that's okay. All right, I know we're everybody back. was trying to figure out the cookies and cars thing, but you know, I was actually supposed to be there. Uh, we were going to do a little fundraiser, and then had to change plans. And then I was like, "Man, I really want to do a, a test drive." And then Dennis, of course, told me about how you're crazy about cars. And then I talked to Alyssa, and that's how it all kind of came together today too. I thought we'd just combine a lot of fun stuff. I wish I had a Mia cookie right now. I'm starving. I have some. That's right cool. here. I'll eat one for you. I can eat one too. That's really cold, you guys. Mm. Ah, I don't <laughs> mind if I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, this is like being on the Food and Booze show yesterday. I was dying. That is, is too funny. Your, is this one of your most popular cookies? Hugely popular. People love sugar cookies. I've actually never had them yet. This oh. is a really good cookie. It's good. <laughs> Sugar cookie because it's fat. We don't roll it out because I like fat moist cookies. Yeah, they, I mean her cookies are all fat. Like yeah, look at this. These are like huge. You go. Ah, oh, can't get your mouth open. Yep, that's <laughs> no 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 skimpy thin that's things right. around. I'm trying here. not to laugh so the camera stays on you guys because that's so hilarious. <laughs> you were just having a like a food porn moment. <laughs> Well, listen. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna probably just wrap it up because I want to get over and, of course, um, respond to a lot of the comments and everything. But it sounds like it went uh, very well today. So um, thanks for everybody for being so patient, though, because it was. Uh, it looks like it was a, a flipping ride, right? <laughs> it, it does look like it was a flipping ride. Oh my god! And thank, well. thank you guys so much for letting me be a part of this thing. Um, this was a heck of a lot of fun. Thank you. It, I, Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate it. And a big thanks to Debbie Davis, who um, was, she's going to, yeah, she's going to do a, a uh, Debbie bomb. <laughs> and Ryan, he's uh, he's making things happen. He said they sell, you know, they sell two to three cars a day. So, you know, and that's, you know, because they can order it online as well. But it's just amazing. So I'm so impressed. Well. Hold on one second. Ryan, say goodbye to everybody. Thank you. He's just going to wave. Say bye. It was a pleasure to meet everybody. He was awesome, Thanks, right, guys? Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. What's anybody's back crap crazy? Mine is Tesla. How about you guys? Um, mine is Frida. My back crap crazy is the Frida cookie. I'm back <laughs> crap crazy for Frida. <laughs> Isabella, pumpkin mascarpone with crunchelico raisins. Oh, you y'all are killing me. You know, I never eat before my show, and this is so painful. And it was that way yesterday because Chef was eating. So and we need to go get some lunch. Mm -hmm. So... We're out of here. Dennis, thank you so much. You can end the broadcast, though, right, brother? I, I can do that, yes. So. Okay. Well, right. we've got to learn on the blue boxing. You guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, I'm going to act like we are on. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm Mia Voss. I'm sitting here in a Model S Tesla and nerding out hardcore. This guy right here, do you see him? That's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you guys. How are you? Doing well. This poor kid has been sitting here going through all this crazy green uh, green room stuff, blue box. Look who's back in the back seat with me, too. Oh, Debbie Debbie. Debbie Davis in the his house. And we have Alyssa Berry. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. How are you, honey? I'm great. You, you guys look like you're having fun. You haven't even hit the road yet. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. Can you see this crazy control panel we got going on here? Oh, yeah. That thing is that thing is so much fun. I can't even take it. And this made me really excited because I was sitting here.
here in the car, and I was like, Ryan, hold my purse. Ryan, hold my purse. <laughs> he goes, Mia, that's a purse holder. <laughs> so we got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Hey, how about we read some comments? What do you think, guys? You so are. Review, I know. I'm, I'm going to run this show like a bad mofo. Okay, we've got Laura Williams. Hi, Laura. Has someone made coffee to go with the cookies? Uh, Sarah Lamoff, Lamoff, Christopher Vogelman, David Henry Pipe. Hi, brother. He's over in England. Yay. I know you got to see the top of my head. Dustin also wants to know about the cookies. Roxanne, Leela. Oh, man, we got it all going on. So, yay, guys. Thanks for showing up. So, we are sitting here, again, like I said, in the Model S. This is not my first time the Tesla, just so you know. So this is the Tesla Model S. We're actually in a P85 Plus currently. So this is Yay. a fast car. <laughs> so it shows 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, which is, that's it. There's We're a off. bunch of babies and dogs in front of me, so We're I might, right. oh, and then once I let my foot off the gas, it just, it just goes. Oh. No gas. Exactly. See what I said? Okay. No gas, because it's just going, oh, this thing is smooth like butter. <laughs> Watch this. You guys ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then when you let your foot off, it, um, yeah, I just scared this woman in her kids. Did you see that? Sorry. So that sensation that you feel when you let your foot off the accelerator, that's called regenerative braking. Battery pack, while also extending your brake legs as well. Cray, cray. And then you're going to make a left here. Oh, my God, you guys. Who's in the audience has been in a Tesla? I want to hear about it. I want to hear your experience and what you think. Look at me. I've got my gum chewing mode. I'm so excited. And then, I'm right and then Dennis, it looks like Alyssa might be blue box, but I can't tell. So um, let's make sure it's on. I wish you guys could see also the mountains are gore just today. It is the most amazing day here in Denver. So we're getting out. We're out of Park Meadows Mall, right? And we're going to stay in this lane. We're going to merge on the I-25 path. Okay, so tell me more about what I'm what my, what I'm experiencing right now. So yeah, no gas, right? So no no gear shift. No gear shift. We're going to stay in this lane. Okay. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> take it. This thing is so awesome. All right. So, yeah. You're going to let these cars get a little bit ahead of you. Okay, I'm going to So once you straighten out, floor it. Okay. Floor it. Pretty quick. Yeah. Um, the safest car ever crash tested. It's a fun time. So. <laughs> Can I just tell you guys when we were in the we were sitting here at Deb, What did you say? You wanted to go get your helmet. I've got two helmets. <laughs> I brought two helmets. One for you. One for me. You want one? <laughs> But Ryan, um, Ryan said that it is the safest car to crash, so I'm feeling pretty good about that one too. So, so, um, Dennis, where are you at? Can you pipe in? I know we're we've got the cookies part two going on over there. Yeah, we're live here in uh, hey. at Ruby Snap, and uh, you know it's kind of noisy in here. I mean, it's a bakery; it's got cement floors. Customers are coming and going, but I'm here with Tammy Stagel. Yep. Hi, Tammy. Tammy. Hello. And, uh, How are you, girl? Good. Hey, tell us about the Mia cookie, because I can put my fat pants on. Okay, Mia is a vanilla bean dough with a uh, a buttercream beet frosting. That, sense. that means we color it pink with beets. You can't taste beets, but it's all natural. And we bring our vanilla beans in from Bali. Fine. <laughs> I love that. It's got all oh, that camera work. It's so fun you got going on over there. You like that, Mia? <laughs> I like yeah, it. I like it a lot. I'm just really happy that I fixed the back of my head today. Look at this. You see this camera view? Sweet. Yeah. Greg calls yeah. that my kitchen when I don't get my head back of my head fixed. He says, fix your kitchen. <laughs> all right, guys. Any other comments we want to pull up from the audience before we get rolling? You see anything, Dennis? Um... Uh, you know, for some reason, when my computer just crashed, uh, I lost my streams. So, uh, okay. you start driving, I'm going to get my stream. Hey, 
Hey, let's rotate that other camera 90 degrees so we can get a better view from the passenger seat there. We lost you already. Woo! How are we doing? Woohoo! All right, so now on I-25, can you see me? I can see you now. Okay, great. And then, Dennis, make sure we got blue box. And then we are now on I-25. And then, Alyssa, I'm not kidding you. This is what you're talking about. It is so smooth. I cannot really? believe how well this thing, this has giddy up and pick up. So tell me how, how fast I can really go if I was able to really hit the gas. Uh, if you... So our cars are governed at about 130 miles per hour top speed, oh, but that's, so cool. that's just a governor to you know. What does that mean? It's just to make sure that your your motor and your your battery back, you know, make sure don't they don't degrade faster than they need to. I got you. Now what is so I've got the it's the blue one here on the left. Is that that's going to be how fast I just so you know. I'm at 65 right now. Mm -hmm. And then what's on the right? So the right, that's your kilowatt hours that you're using. So that's the power that you're using. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, oh, the go green, to green. Is showing you. Can you see this, you guys? On the, on, the, on the console? Hello? Let's see. Well, it's a little blown out what, what I'm looking at. OK. Sorry, guys. Hey, but this Mia. is the shit. Lean back. All right. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be a good girl and put, put Put my my glasses on so I can really see what uh what I'm doing. So, any other, any uh any other comments you got, Alyssa? Have you, have you been in one of these before? I'm sorry. <laughs> have you been in one of these before? I have been in a Tesla once before, and it was just an amazing experience. Like you said, you've been in one. I'm excited for you to do it again. I feel like driving a Tesla is one of those experiences that will just never get old. And the first time I'm you do it. You're just totally floored by what it's really like. I mean, if you've ever been in an, in an electric car before, like maybe you've tried the Nissan Leaf or maybe you've tried the Volt, those are all excellent cars as well. But this takes it to such a different level, and it is so much fun. It truly is a supercar that's green. I mean, you can't, and, and, yeah. you can't compare it. And it's sexy. This thing it's is sexy. so sexy, I can't even take it. I can't take it. Now, listen, I don't even know what to do. So, Ryan, just get me started. Like, show us the console and stuff. Because I'm looking for the gear shift. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking for all that business. So, looking at the Model S, you know, in the current state that it's in, it's pretty much an accessory mode. So, you know, when you turn your ignition, you turn oh. your ignition, not all the way. Yeah. That's pretty much the mode it's on currently. Okay. Um, so, really, all you have to do to start is just put your foot on the brake. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, wow. You guys should see this. Like, all this little controls just showed up right here on the screen. <laughs> the turned on. And, and Debbie actually just put her seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah. She got scared. Okay. So the car has just turned on. And <clears throat> make sure your mirrors and everything are all set before we go. Yep. All right. So, and to put it into drive, you're just going to drop this all the way down. Okay. Oh, okay. oh it's almost like, um, wow, that is cool. It's, it's, it's like the... the when you do a turning signal, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And uh, 